Welcome to this Windows 10 channel and this is a quick look at the Insider uh, Preview Build 14.3.6.1. Now I want to say sorry to everybody that's hearing the buzz. There's a big buzz in my microphone on this because of the Insider machine, uh, the way it is set up now. And uh, we'll try to fix that when I can, but for now I'm really sorry. You guys will hear a buzz while I'm doing the video. Um, so today, June 8th, Donos Arkar was uh, mentioning that there would be a uh, insider build later this week, but apparently now it's today. So uh, that's going to be, uh, that's, that's nice, you know, we're having a new build about a week and a half after the last one. So uh, what's new? What is, uh, you know, she said there would be some interesting things here. Um, did, you know, does it live up to what she says? Uh, that's what you'll see here. So basically the install went really well. It was a pretty fast install, regular speed install basically. Uh, no problems, everything was pretty good, going well, and um, it gave me, as you see in the watermark on the bottom right, this evaluation copy build 14.3.6.1. Uh, to answer a question that a viewer had asked me, a few viewers actually, uh, mentioning that how these uh, builds expire, yes they do because eventually the builds will transform themselves in the anniversary update official uh, um, OS and that will remove the uh, basically the uh, preview dates. That's for people that don't have any um, possibility of having the real Windows 10. They can still ins install their insider previews but they do expire after a while. So. Um, I've been trying out this version of Windows 10 for about three hours now. I used it as my main work machine basically in the past three hours and I um, was of course um, doing pretty much everything I do with my regular Windows 10 machine. So how does it work? Well it goes really well. It doesn't, didn't have any crashes, didn't have any problems. I could do everything I did with other computers with Windows 10 that I have here without any glitches. Cortana works well, uh, so you know, that is perfect. What is new for this version? Well, here's the thing. There's not that much new in this version, but there's a few things. First of all, if you go into your Microsoft Edge browser, uh, if you had extensions, they're already there, but there are new versions sometimes of these extensions that you might want to download. So in extensions, I have uh, Translator, Adblock Plus, uh, if you go to the store, there's one extension that a lot of people was, were waiting for that's there, and it's the LastPass extension. So you can click open in store and you can get it from there. Now the problem I got is that it doesn't want to install. As you see here, it says this app encountered a problem. Please reinstall it to repair. And I've been, you know, doing all sorts of reinstall, trying to work with it again, and it just doesn't want to install for some reason. So it's a little sad, uh, but you know what? In the um, I was watching Windows Weekly today, and Paul Tarot and Leo Laporte installed it and it seemed to work well. So basically, it could be maybe that I'm Canada or I don't know, but uh, didn't want to work uh, in my case for um, VastPass. Apart from that, uh, we have um, Hyper-V containers. You can now use Docker natively in Windows 10 with Hyper-V containers to build, sh ship, and run containers utilizing Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview 5, uh, Nano Server Container OS Image, and so on. Uh, Windows Ink improvements, so if you have a uh, Surface Book or any device that has, you know, a pen and that works, lots of improvements there, including, you know, the, the ink ruler that now can fit all full screen uh, where it didn't before, stuff like that. A few improvements in settings. Uh, what they've done in the settings, basically, is um, improve the way that settings look. So if you go into all in the settings app and uh, click any, you know, setting. Well, basically, what's happening is that you see that now they've added a little color bar to show you where you are in the settings. The uh, contrast, the way things look, is better, so you, it's easier to. To go through the settings and know where you're at and where the setting you read the settings and all of that they've added an interesting little feature that i like really a lot you know before you go into settings and you want to change something else you always had to go to that back button on the upper left corner now there's a home button you can click you're in the home 
settings. That I like a lot. I think it's really, really nice. So, um, of course, some you know slight polishing uh, improvements, slightly increasing the size of page names and text. So uh, it does seem you know, easier to read, uh, actually. Apart from that, new icons, especially there's a new Blu-ray disc icon. So if you're um, you got a drive, a Blu-ray drive on your computer, you will see that new icon there. You also have a kind of a revamped and uh, better uh, network icon that they've been using now uh, to connect to your networks and everything. The icon looks better than it did before, it's mostly to show that you know this is network stuff. Uh, slight increase in font size for um, and also an icon size in the taskbar and at a few places inside the uh, Windows operating system. Uh, you know, tweaks that you basically a lot of uh, insiders been asking. Uh, what's good and what's wrong with this build, basically? Well, there's a lot of bad stuff in this build, a lot of issues that uh, are not working right. So, um, you know, there's uh, if you have a, if you're a French language insider um, preview. Uh, you will not have 14.3.6.1 because there's an issue with the French translation of the uh, operating system. So uh, no 14.3.6.1 for any French language uh, insider preview uh, users. Text prediction in, uh, for using Japanese IME will freeze or PC. Navigation, uh, navigating to the privacy pages and settings app will crash the settings app and prevent you of adjusting the settings. Um, so there's you know problem there. If you click on file download link, nothing will happen. You have to right click and choose save or save as. And for certain languages, Chinese, Portuguese, you will not be able to uh, launch start while an app is installing. Uh, fixed issues, fixed the fix an issue where applying a new save location to storage settings page uh, would result in other pending save location changes being lost. Fix an issue where the taskbar volume icon was showing incorrect states or 0% and muted. Uh, fixed the uh, command prompt maximizing correctly with high DPI monitors. Uh, added a keyboard shortcut for opening taskbar clock and calendar, which is Windows key, Alt key, and D key. So let's try it out right now. Windows, Alt, and D. And here we go. We have clock, clock and calendar with this shortcut. Um, Sticky notes would have problems sometimes launching that is fixed. Uh, going forward now from build 14.3.6.1, the task manager settings will now be preserved and uh, a few other things have been fixed in uh, the operating system, including a uh, change of active hours and stuff like that. So uh, solid build, works really well. I have not had any problems with it, except of course for the last pass extension that doesn't want to install which is a very minor problem in my case. But uh, overall, you know, it's a, it's a good build. And you know, we're getting really close to uh, an anniversary update in July, so I would guess that this uh, will really, really um, make us uh, basically, uh, you know, get a... basically the, the official insider or the official anniversary belt soon. So I would guess that in the next few weeks we're getting the, the real deal and that the watermark on the bottom right will be gone uh, when that happens. So um, still a few issues, still a few tweaks, but pretty solid build basically. So just add on to your Insider Preview Machine, go into Windows Update, check out for the latest build and um, have fun playing with this new build. Hope you enjoyed this uh, quick look and review of the latest Insider build for Windows 10. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed the videos. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Thank you for watching.